may have seen our previous film on alcohols, where we focused on the manufacturing process. In this film, we will be looking at the reactions of alcohols. Let's start with the oxidation process with ethanol. Here we have ethanol, and here we have its functional group. Here we have three oxygen molecules. We need three to make the equation balanced. The result is carbon dioxide and water. To balance the equation, we will have two carbon dioxide and three water molecules. Let's show you how to do it. can see we have three water molecules and two carbon dioxide molecules. Ethanol reacts with oxygen to produce ethanoic acid. This happens in Actobacter, a bacteria that can metabolise ethanol. You may come across this when wine turns or goes sour through being left in contact with the air for too long. Ethanoic acid is also known as vinegar, so all is not lost. You could still sprinkle it on your fish and chips. As you can see, ethanol can be used as a fuel, and it is very green. Carbon dioxide is technically a greenhouse gas, but it is used in photosynthesis by plants to produce glucose and oxygen. The oxidation by Actobacter is a complex biological process that takes place inside bacteria. However, we can represent a simple GCSE version as follows. Ethanol plus oxygen goes to ethanoic acid and water. We can produce the same results in a laboratory using potassium manganate 7 and sulfuric acid as catalysts. So there you have it. Alcohol can be used as a clean, combustible fuel and two brilliant ways of turning a very expensive bottle of wine into vinegar for your fish and chips. This is Science Rocks. <laughs>